Today we hosted the AGA Symposium on the role of the gut microbiome in both health and GI diseases. Uh, it was a wonderful symposium with three world experts on the topic. The range of topics covered in today's symposium covered the role of nutrition on the composition and function of the gut microbiota, the potential role of the gut microbiota in the disease course for patients with inflammatory bowel disease, and then a final discussion about whether the gut microbiota is an active component of irritable bowel syndrome. There was one common theme that thread through all three of the presentations, and that really is the complexity of this topic. We're at an early stage of discovery around, around the microbiome with multiple diseases, and one of the things that has limited the progress to date is the complex nature of the relationship between the gut microbiome and the host. Part of this relates to the question of whether it's the organism that's there that's important or the biological function of that organism. And so all of our speakers today touched on, on some of the complexity in sorting out these questions. I thought one of the most interesting things was regarding IBD and how in the treatment of IBD we've been targeting the immune system response to the microbiota, but there's this idea floating around about targeting not our response to the microbiota, but the microbiota and its products themselves. Who knows if moving forward, maybe if we start to uh, prescribe some, some antibiotics, kind of like we do for SIBO, like uh, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and see if that has some benefit with um, patients who are suffering with IBS, if it could help their symptoms overall. But of course, I have to read up more on that and see if, uh, you know, communicate further with mentors and read on that and see if that might be of true benefit and then give it a try. I think one of the key take-home messages for people who are interested uh, in further investigating these topics is the importance of interventional studies, both in animal models but also in humans. Uh, we can only get so far from cross-sectional observations looking at what bug or what metabolite are present in people with disease and those without disease. The real question is whether you can change the bugs or the metabolites and change the health of the host.